Dab me up. Dab me up. Dab me up. Uh, wait. Bruh, bruh. Dang, what's going on now? What did you do? I think someone called the other chat and then that messed things up. Am I widescreen for you? Because you're like huge screen right now. Oh, dab me up, dab me up. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, ready? Dude, it's so stupid. Are you wearing the hype chain? You wearing the hype chain? Huh? You wearing the hype chain right now? Yeah, you already know. You already know. Where's yours? I'm getting you right now. Where's Hold yours? up. Hurry up! Yo, dude, it's kind of hard to put on. I'm not even capping, though. Really? I kind of got used to it because it's, it's so big. It's kind of... It's not big, it's small. The the hook thing is easy to put on. Yeah, kind of, right? Thomas Petru, we, we bought your little dumb chain, but it looks, looks yeah. hype. But it really, it, I like it a lot. Alright, alright, hang on, I got this, I got this. Shall uh, we Marvin, begin? Don't do anything, don't do anything, Marvin, don't do it. Just, 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 just sit down and watch. We got eight minutes on the clock before I run out of storage. We gotta, we gotta go on, the, we gotta go quick. Oh shoot, we gotta put on our intro song. Oh shoot, <sighs> I forgot about, you play the intro song. I'm, okay, 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 ready? Put the intro song, I'll be right back. Okay, hurry, hurry, hurry. I'll be called. Get back to business, get back to business. Okay, okay, I'm gonna start it over, okay? Okay, go, go, go. Let's go, we're celebrating the... Let's go. Episode 2! Baby! After the hammer, she took the whole thing. Slow down. Baby! Hey, baby. I did a tape, now you're in your bag, and I did a ghost sound. Let's go, baby! Game episode yeah, two, baby. let's go! Welcome back to our second episode of the damn podcast. Here we got David. Anything you want to say before we start off with what we're going to do this episode? Um, I hope you guys enjoy this podcast. You hope what? I hope everybody enjoys this podcast. I hope you, whoever's watching this, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully, you guys have a passion yeah, for football how's your too. Day today? How's your day today? How's your day? Me or the fans? No, you. My day was pretty good. I still got some homework I got to do before eleven fifty nine. Both the podcasts come first. You know what I'm saying? The podcast. You already know. In this podcast, we're gonna be talking about the post games over this weekend and yesterday's Monday night football as well as Thursday night football. We're gonna be talking everything what as we well, what we predict. The the, it, a lot of injuries. Not gonna lie, a lot of injuries. Uh, we're also gonna talk about if we if we predicted games correctly or not from last video. Hopefully, we did. We also have the standings for this season. We have the standings after week two. We have the new power ranking, so that will be fun to go over and see if new it's correct or right. Pretty good. And yep. maybe if we have time, I don't think we will. Maybe that's for a uh, uh, Wednesday Wednesday type stuff, Thursday type stuff. Um, we might do week three. We'll see about that in a little bit. All right. And, oh, shoot. Uh, I'm getting an email right now, David. Hello? Yeah, I'll tell him. I'll tell him. David, the fans want you to show your face because that's the whole point of the podcast. We got to show All our right. face. In the yeah. Up, are, are you on a laptop right now? Let's see the setup. Wait, what? Oh, shoot. Okay, so, um, guys, I pretty much got this new keyboard on the weekend. So, new, this keyboard is really fast. It's like tournament. It's like tournament keyboard. So like I can basically control it, like like it, it has it like it has its own app. So like I can control it on my my phone if I wanted to, but you know I don't want that. So like I can turn it into wheels. It's so cool. But let's get back to the podcast. I don't know. Back to the podcast. We're gonna start stuff right off post game show. Show. We already talked about the Browns and the Bengals, the Giants and the Bears. We thought. We, I honestly wasn't too sure about this game. It could go either way. But I think I'll start this one off. I think the Giants could have won if they had Saquon Barkley. 13-17 to 17 is kind of risky. But in the end, the Bears won good for them, 2-0. Um, I know you're a Packers fan, obviously, and you're going to have disagreements, disagreements with them winning that game. What were your thoughts on that game? Who should have won? And any ideas? Um, I, I, I was really thinking that the... It looked like the Bears were going really good in the first half. It looked like they were being healthy. The defense was making really great stops. Yep, yep. But when they when Shaquan Barkley's torn his ACL, this 
just kind of went downhill during almost almost lost in the second half to a touchdown twice that happened in New, in Chicago and Detroit. So great job for the Bears. Yeah, yeah. What we, are your thoughts, Marvin? I don't remember what we said. Did we say Giants or Bears? We said the Bears. Dang, so we were correct. We were correct on that one. It's like they have all these players. In there. And oh shoot. I don't know if the video's lagging. And for Rams and Eagles, Rams came in clutch with a bunch of points over to, over over the Eagles. I think we did predict the Rams, right? Not, nothing too special there. Yeah. The Eagles really, keep really getting... big, really big game. Um, the Eagles never play that bad, but it's, it is what it is. And I remember we last week we talked about Carson Wentz always getting sacked. Poor dude. So apparently he got sacked. Four times last week against the Washington Red what, football team. Um, he got sacked eight team. times, so I think I think he needs some better offensive linemen. What, what do you think, Marvin? He needs some way better offensive linemen because that's a Super Bowl champion team right there, and they're letting him sack the QB like that. That ain't him. That ain't him. Got to improve on that offensive side. Falcons and Cowboys. I didn't watch this game, but this score looks crazy. Thirty-nine to forty. Did you watch the game? This game was the in most. Greatest game I've ever seen. By the first. Oh shoot, we have we we having some connection difficulties. Dave is lagging there. <laughs> He's lagging. He's lagging. I'm so confused. For me, you just froze. Did I freeze for you? I don't know. You. I mean, you were like you were you were moving and then they just stopped. Yeah, like, for real. Yo, for me, for you too, like you stopped talking and you just froze, and I was like, "Oh shoot, we having some connection issues." I'm pulling up all the scores right here. You know what I do? I search up NFL scores, and then I can see all the scores. So if you want to be on the same page as me, that's what I do. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna look it up on my computer. I'm pulling up all, know, the, all the games right look here. Look at so, so look at uh, if I press one key, the whole thing goes crazy. <clears throat> Um, we're having some technical difficulties. We had some yeah, difficulties. We... <laughs> Go ahead. Wait, what was that? Oh, shoot. Okay, so, all right, guys. So, 13 to 17, the Bears win. <sighs> yep, Wait, yep, who else yep. did we have? We talked about the Bears and the Giants already. And while I'm getting stuff ready with my tabs, you can talk about the Falcons and the Cowboys game because I didn't watch that game. Oh, man, so... Basically, first and second half, the the oh shoot, the Ram, the Falcons were really much dominating ho- oh, the whole first half. The Falcons, thirty nine, twenty nine to nothing by the, and then the Cowboys started scoring again. It was already thirty nine to twenty. I'm like, nah, they they're gonna lose, and and then when it came to the third quarter, they, they started scoring touchdowns and all that. And then start everything started to happen again. Towards the fourth quarter, touchdown, thirty to thirty-nine. They scored a touchdown. They they kick the field goal. They don't go for two. They get they kick the onside kick. Cowboys have it. They get the onside kick. They they pass the ball all the way to Amari Cooper and just. Catches it, gets the field goal off, fifty yarder, and he wins it, thirty nine to forty. Cowboys win. What a comeback! One field goal, one field. Goal. I didn't see the field goal. They all hyped them up. What a, what, what a game we had. Look, sounds like what a game. Huge points right there. All on Atlanta Falcons still on wind, winless, and the Dallas Cowboys got a win back after their zero one streak. Weren't they zero one? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, they were zero one. All right, next game it appears to be Panthers versus Tampa Bay. I didn't watch that game either. Did you? This game was it was an okay game. I, I watched the first the first half, but the second half I did not watch. Apparently, Tom Brady, Len Fournette, and Mike Evans were doing really really good, and then the Panthers started to make starts going some touchdowns. But Tom Brady kept on. Thanks strong for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and won the game thirty one to seventeen. I feel you, I feel you. The first Tampa Bay um Tom Brady's first win as a um Tampa Bay. That's yeah, pretty, pretty good for him. Tampa Bay's first win as a Buccaneer, but Panthers still struggling. Zero two. 
Um, we we got this one correct. We we knew the Tampa Bay would win, so that's that's good for us. Our credibility yes. is going good right there. So far, so good. Yes. Next game, 49ers and Jets. Clearly, the 49ers Man, beat them 31 wait, to 13. We, we're gonna do the injuries last, right? Oh yeah, we can talk about it. In- oh, you can as the as the team comes up, we can talk about injuries. So you got something to say about injuries? All right, so, so it looked like the the Jets were they they, they were they were going bat- they were battling towards the second quarter, but when came Nick Bosa toward battling the toward the second quarter, it appears to me zero points in the second quarter. Wait, wait, what? Oh, I kind of didn't watch this game, so, like, <laughs> I, I just saw the second quarter. I just don't know. Well, Nick Bosa tore his ACL, so, oh. Nick. And then. No way he tore later, his ACL. Later in the game, you know, the Jets were coming in with pressure. They send a blitz. Go after Jimmy Garoppolo. He, he doesn't, doesn't, um, let, he doesn't go down the way he was supposed to and hit hurt his ankle out of the game. Also Rashawn Moster, running back for the San Francisco 49ers, injured knee. Um and George Kittle, the tight end, ankle injury out of the game as well. Wow. And and the the Niners ended up winning the game but a lot of key players out for the game. I wonder how's well, it gonna go for that Marvin. I didn't watch the game, but imagine your QB, a key running back, and a key tight end out for like the next game or so, and your key defensive lineman, the d- defensive end. It's gonna be tough next week. I wonder. I don't know who they're versus next week, but we'll, we'll solve that in the next video. We we got that one one for what are we three for three? I can't tell, but we got that one right too. We knew the 49ers would win that game. I want to talk about Denver Broncos and your Pittsburgh Steelers winless and. Undefeated Steelers. You got anything to say about this game? I did not see this game. I did not see this game, but I I was watching how Juju Smith Houston was doing really well. Looked like the Steelers were in were pretty much pretty much kind of winning this game, but you know that they were gonna win in the in the first place. So, what were you thoughts on that, Marvin? I before I talk about this game. Bobby just sent me three messages. He said, "He said, uh, want to play Among Us or start the podcast again?" He doesn't know we're doing the podcast right now, so oh, we got we got a we're running out. Of, we got eight minutes left to do this podcast. Okay, uh, I did watch this game. Uh, the game was pretty good. Good defenses on both sides. Um, great for the Pittsburgh Steelers to injure the Denver Broncos quarterback, which, I, as you know, the Broncos are my rival. So taking out the key quarterback helps a lot. It's gonna make things easier. So that I, I love the Steelers now. I love the Steelers. They took out Drew. Uh, what's his name? Drew Locke, and that's that's good for me. That's good for me. Good game. We also did predict the Steelers would win in that game, so we're good. Jacksonville Jaguars and the Tennessee Titans, thirty to thirty-three. Did you watch this game or not? Um, no, I I didn't see the game, but it looked like it was pretty good. I just saw the game-winning field goal as the Tennessee Titans were taking Ryan Tannehill was. The times all the way to the he, he was putting on a really great dive and close enough to make the game winning field goal to win the game. What were your thoughts on that, Mark? I didn't watch the game, but I'm glad the Tennessee Titans are coming up and Jacksonville came with a first win for what's his name Gardner Minshew. Gardner Minshew, that that is pretty cool, and I hope he does good in Jacksonville. It kind of sucks that you only lose by three points, but good for good game. Sounds like looks like it would have been a good game. And we also did protect. Odie. Odie came in. He wants to say what's up to the podcast. Oh my god. You um, to what's up? Your toe? Your toe? No, 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 no. It's a ghost. It's a ghost. A ghost? So, we also did predict that the Titans right, would win well, that game, so we're good for good. Now, this is going to be interesting. 21-42, to 42, Detroit Lions and Green Bay Packers. You obviously watched this game because you're a Packers fan. What did you think about this game? I thought in the first the first quarter twenty three, I mean seven to three, and then fourteen to three. I was like, it's all right. It's only the first half. When it came to the second and second quarter and third quarter, Packers were just dominating the whole game. Seventy five yards, Aaron Jones, Aaron Rodgers throw it to um, Devontae Adams for a touchdown. Enough points to beat him, and looks like it was a really great game. Um, what were your thoughts on that one? 
I didn't watch the game, but from looking at these numbers, it looks like the defense of the Detroit Lions got tired real quick, allowing two whole quarters with like two plus touchdowns per quarter. That's that's not that's no good. And also in fantasy football, some dude has a Green Bay Packers running back, and that dude got like forty points. That's so much. So good good for the Packers undefeated. That's good. That's good. Yeah, you did really well. We obviously we 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 the got two and zero, two and zero. 2-0, 2-0. We also got that game. Uh, we knew they were going to win, so we got yeah. on that point. Now, Buffalo yep. Bills and the Miami Dolphins. I thought it was going to be tough, but it, it did look kind of tough. 31-28. I'm surprised the Dolphins can put up these numbers, honestly. But they still suck. 0-2. <laughs> did you watch this game? <laughs> um, No, I did not watch this game, but it looked, like, it looked like it was pretty interesting. I didn't know the Dolphins could put up that much points by losing a field goal, maybe a game with a field goal or something like that. Oh, well, you're right. One field goal. Looks like a pretty good game. Looks like a pretty good game. We also predicted the Bills, so we're we're on a streak. We we do not fail predicted teams. Colts and the Vikings. Here, this is where we disagreed. You said Vikings. I said Colts. <laughs> Eleven to twenty-eight. The Colts win. Did you watch this game? I did not watch this game, but I did see two minutes left in the fourth quarter. It looked like Kirk Cousins was just. Not having the energy, like the, the defense is just not the same without Everson Griffin. Is they were just letting the Colts score every time. It just didn't look good. I agree. I agree. Without Lauren on the without Lauren on the Vikings, that just allows all these points over here. Without Lauren, <laughs> without Lauren on the defense, it changes things. <laughs> I was surprised he didn't kill any referees out there. <laughs> I'm Everyone, they've they been having masks. They've been having masks. They're like, we can't support Lauren on that team. Oh yeah. They say the mask man is for COVID. Nah, it's the black Lauren smell. <laughs> so I was right. Colts win. Did you say Colts will win, or did you say Vikings? Vikings will win. I thought you said the Vikings will win. I don't. I, I think I was saying the Vikings. Yeah. All right. Well, that's okay. That's okay. We still got the other ones. Good streak. Good streak. We're, we're nearing the end of these games for the post game show. We got Washington football team, Washington football team, and the Cardinals. Double the points, 15 to 30. I didn't watch this game, but Kyler Murray did have a huge game in fantasy football. Did you watch this game? Yes, I did watch this game towards the fourth quarter. When I saw it, it looked like their their offense is really, really dangerous. I don't I don't I don't think you should first this team right now. Really good team. You got Larry Fitzgerald, DeAndre Hopkins, Hopkins, and you got Kyle Murray. I saw him run for a touchdown against um the Washington football team. <laughs> the, the, the defense is really good at the Washington football team. The defense is really good. Football team. <laughs> I mean, they didn't leave. They didn't let the Cardinals score for about two quarters until it came to the third and fourth. So. I think I, uh, it was the Cardinals who won the game. All right, what were your thoughts on that, Marvin? I think, I, I, like I said, I, oh, I said I said what I said. Never mind, never mind. We good, we good. That We did say the Cardinals would win that game. That, that one was kind of obvious. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we got So, no, Baltimore Ravens and the Houston Texans. I was stressed out about this game. Deshaun Watts is my Q, QB in fantasy. They pressured him too much, 33-16. Not what I wanted to see because he's my QB. But that Ravens, Ravens are putting a lot of pressure on him. What you, what you think about that game? Did you watch it? I did watch this second and fourth quarter. Looked like the defense on the Ravens is just really dangerous. They were pro- they were putting so much pressure to him. He couldn't even pass the ball. And That's when true. he did, they just didn't get that much yards. And the Ravens, he did kind of got some interceptions out there. But you know, they Ravens are really dangerous. I don't I don't, I don't think you want to press them anymore. You do not want right. you do not want to mess with the Ravens. That's for sure. For now, I thought the I thought their offense was the strength, but defense is looking pretty strong too. And we we knew the Ravens would win that game. Oh, we're getting spicy. These last two games are spicy. Kansas City Chiefs no. and the Los Angeles Chargers. You can start. This Over. game I did watch through the entire game. Yeah, it was fourteen to three. By the third quarter, but then Patrick Mahomes, you know, the Super Bowl champ, MVP, superstar, came in. The defense of the Chargers was really, really good. Got the he got the ball out there. He started started scoring some touchdowns, and I think and they came back. They didn't they didn't go for two, which was smart because Andy Reid wanted to go for two, but they didn't, and they went for the they went for the field goal. Got the 
they got the game into the overtime, and the defense was really, really good to stop the Chargers and then got the field goal off to win the game. That's true, that's true. What were, your, what were your predictions right there, Marvin? I'm the pause right here. Hold up, hold up. I should be, I should be uh, DJ. DJ David? Yeah. I'll wake up in the morning night. I'll Murder on my mind. mind. Wait, wait, what do you think? I kind of like that. That song was whack. I need to hear the full version. Well, oh, okay. Oh, oh. no, I, gonna... <laughs> <Yeah>, I... <laughs> I gotta hear the full version. Wait, where are you right now? I mean... I'm in Addison's room first. <laughs> <laughs> Addison's room right now? Yeah, Charlie's right here. Hi, say hi, Charlie. Come here. <laughs> 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 Your face went really dusty. Oh. You think I'm capping? You think I'm capping right now? I'm gonna tell Lily. I'm gonna tell. Oh, wait, you don't know what Lily said. Well, what would you gonna say, huh? You don't know what Lily said. Hype chains? Wait, what she said? Hype chains? Yeah. Take a bite. Take a bite of the hype. Go all right, all right. Back to business. Back to business. I like that. I like this. Back to business. Okay, so wait. So who's next? We got the Chiefs and the Chargers. Did you finish saying what you were going to say over that? I need a moment right now. Huh? You need a moment? What's going on? I don't want to fall asleep. I don't want to pass away. I'll be thinking of a future because I'm not. David, David, look. Look at the screen. Look at the screen. Show your face. Show your face and I'll show mine. Look. Play the song. Play the song. Let's go in our fields. I'm going to tell my head on my glasses. Yeah. I don't want to fall asleep. I don't want to pass away. I've been thinking of the future because I've never seen no pain. But I probably deserve this. I'm not into the past, but you know that I'm not perfect. I've been praying for forgiveness. I've been praying for my health. The charge is no one of them. I'll turn it in. I'll turn it in. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Oops. What happened? Cause um, Lily, cause Lily wanted to say hi, and then I'm like, no, cause we're doing the podcast. She got mad. Was... Back to business. Back to business. So that game was pretty good. That game oh, was that pretty moment. good. Patriots and Seahawks. Did you watch this game? I barely saw this game, but did you watch it? Oh shoot! You froze. You froze. You froze. You froze. I'm frozen. No. No, dude. No, no. We're gonna have to do this again. Oh, I knew it, bro, dude. Hey, yo, Aaron. Oh, okay. You're back. You're back. Oh my god. So I was thinking. It's, it's just not. It's just. It. Yeah. I'll let David. I'll, are you sure you want me to let David know? Nah, I won't tell him. I won't tell him. All right. All right, guys. David disconnected apparently. Uh, I'm gonna tell you a secret he's been holding back. Expose it to the podcast right here, right oh, now. What? When David. No, no, no. I can hear. I can hear. I when can David hear. was little, he had one of the best haircuts in, of all time, and I'll show the photo right now. He has a really good haircut. Better than mine. Wait, what? What'd you he hear? Now, huh? No, what'd he you watched. hear? You said that Addison don't love me. And he, and I didn't say. Th- th- I didn't say that. I did not say that. Then what'd you say? What'd you say? What'd you say? I was just trying to like make you be like, I can hear you. I can hear you. But I was just saying like back in the day, you had great hair. Great. Great. So my hair don't look good now? No, it, it looks good now, but like back then you got the highlights, you had the length, you had the, the brown hair and yeah, everything. Yeah, I'm going to get highlights again. I'm going to get highlights. Yo, again. matching hair, matching highlights? Should we? Should we? 
I don't, I don't know. They pay, they, it's forty bucks for mine because I can do like all rot, like all my hair. I'm gonna just get, I'm gonna just get like one strand of hair blonde. No, no, I think I'm just gonna do my front and then me. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna do the front. I Everything is gonna be black around here. <laughs> I see you. I see you. All right, did you watch the Patriots and Seahawks game? Yes, I got very emotional when, because um, when the first. I mean, it was a really good game, but when um, Russell Wilson got picked off by Devin McCourty, he said 2-8, which means 28 was the player for the running back for the Patriots, James White. His dad died to a car accident. His mom is in hospital, critical condition. He said 3-8, we love you, bro. And he uh, he got that touchdown for him, which got me very emotional. But without our ordinary good game, but... When, when towards the end of the game, Peyton New England made a mistake. Cam Newton, why are you making him run the game when he touched out? That you know you you throw it, don't don't run it. You you throw it. What what were you talking about already? I didn't really see the game, but I wanted the Seahawks to win. If I'm being honest. Yeah, me too, right? Because Mike, that's Mikey's team. That's the only reason why. And I also I like Russell Wilson. But my friends in a group chat were getting mad why Cam Newton ran the ball at the end. Like, they should pass it to a wide receiver or something. That's what you're talking about, right? Yeah, but, like, when the when the Patriots stopped Seattle, Cam Newton went all the way downfield to Julian Edelman and he caught it. He never goes downfield. He usually runs, like, one of those short routes, which so is crazy. Cam went far? Yeah, he went really far. They were at the 20, and he caught it all the way at the 10-yard line. All the way to the end. That was a really nice game. It, it, it did sound like a pretty good game. Now, yesterday, yeah. if you weren't, if the fans already didn't see what I'm wearing right now, we had the New Orleans Saints versus the Las Vegas Raiders. Before I go off, do you want to say something? Oh my goodness, what a game we had yesterday! New England, the Las Vegas Raiders, really good game. I felt like the Saints were getting a little bit too un- too comfortable in the first half but when it came but by, by the end of the half 43 seconds you have 43 seconds left your defense needed to make a stop and they got the touchdown the Raiders got a touchdown I was very excited for Marvin really good game but when it came towards when New England, when Oakland I was like if Oakland misses this, this is the game right here yep, but when, yep. when Oakland made it that game over they can't even score I was so happy for Marvin I'm like yes and that girl who said the Raiders suck. How's that? How do you feel now winning two games in a row, losing in the NFC Championship game against the LA Rams? Can't even win two games in a row. Can't even make the Super Bowl. And when you, and you can't even beat the Vikings in the wild card week in the wild card, bro. You're like you're so trash, bro. And then the Packers can make the playoffs better than you. Yeah, you might have a really good team, but we we are the better one. And guess who? And guess what? You guys suck. You guys lost to the Raiders. And you know what, guys? You guys are going to even make the playoffs anymore because you guys suck. And you guys are going to lose next week to the Packers. So get in your face. Get out of my way, bro. Don't mess with my boy Marvin never, never again, bro. I'm out of here. David exploded on that girl. That girl. You know what I told you yesterday? What? Well, Remember how I told you that I wasn't sure if I should, like, like text her, like, we'll, we'll make fun of her for the game? You know what I sent her? Whoa. Yesterday, like at like twelve a.m., I took a photo of my other on my other phone. The score twenty four to thirty four, and I commented, "What happened?" Question mark. Question mark. Question mark. Uh, and then you? guess what? Whoa. She booty her. Opened it. No response. Just opened it. That's all. I, that's. I said, oh, you're not responding. Huh? No response. What all that. All what that talk. All that Yo, talk. If somebody at school talking smack and it's their team first mine and we win by a field goal, I start talking all day. Uh, all day I if, talk about if that. If I were like, in What's person, I took all that Yo, smack. Why, why, aren't you, why aren't you talking? She lucky she on oh, Snapchat. The Packers suck. Like, they only got lucky. They got lucky this year. I'm like, oh, okay, okay. And, and he now with the last eight seconds, look. the last six seconds that we have, thanks for watching this week's podcast. Oh, This will take a while for upload. Thanks, thanks. Thanks. Oh, and two. <laughs> <laughs>